Hey everyone, Andy here from Imagine Academy. Today, we're gonna to be going over post-processing of your 3D prints. Let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is put on gloves. Whenever you're handling any uncured material, um, you wanna make sure that none of that material gets on your skin, and if it does, you wanna wash your hands right away. All right, so I like to have a tray to catch any material that might drip when we're transforming our parts from the post-processing or from our 3D printers to the post-processing area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the lid and we're going to gently lift one corner of the build platform at a time. And since our units have been sitting overnight, there's not gonna to be too much material that's gonna be dripping out. But if your print had just finished, you wanna make sure that you catch any excess material that might be dripping from the build platform. So we'll take it, I'm gonna just place it upside down on my catch tray here, and then we'll go ahead and close our lid. So we're gonna do the same thing with our model bases. Again, we're gonna lift the lid. I like to use a catch ray to catch any excess material. We're gonna again lift one corner of the build platform off first, and then make sure any excess material drips onto our catch tray. One important thing to note is that you wanna do a quick glance at your models and make sure that they've printed out fully and successfully. If you notice that any part is missing or one STL is not on your build platform, you do want to go again and stir your resin to make sure there's no debris that might have cured in your resin tray or might have fallen off your build platform. That way we can ensure that nothing punctures the film in your resin tray. So once your units are in the post-processing area, the first thing we're going to do is remove any access material from the units themselves as well as the build platform. What we're gonna use for that is just a spray bottle with isopropyl alcohol and a brush. Just spray our build platform and units with the alcohol, and then we'll take our brush and gently brush all the way around. From there, we're gonna use the material push to gently push the materials off of the build platform. If you need to, you can also use the metal spatula. Again, we're just gonna gently push and we'll place our build platforms to the side to be cleaned later. Once the units are removed from the build platform, again, I like to brush any excess material off with isopropyl alcohol and a soft brush, and then place them into the initial dirty bath. Before we place our units into the bath, if the connectors are already coming off, we can then just remove the connectors as well. Typically, I find it a little bit easier to remove the connectors once it goes through the initial bath. For especially thin units that you're worried about breaking, you can leave the connectors on until after curing to so make sure that nothing breaks. It'll just be a little bit tougher. So in this case here with the gingiva, I'm probably going to leave that on until after we cure it. So once our units have been brushed, what we're going to do is we can take our bash container here, place those in there, slowly lower it down into the alcohol, and we'll wait. If you don't have a lot of alcohol in your bath here no worries what we're gonna do is we can just take our units out and flip them in a few minutes after about five minutes we're going to remove the units and you can actually at this step remove the connectors here as well and then clean the unit one more time with that soft brush and for our gingiva we'll leave the connectors there just because we don't want to break any of that off we'll go ahead and take all of our units we'll take our bath tray set them down on there just like that and place that in the second clean bath. Once your units have sat in the clean bath for about five minutes, what we're going to do is take it out. We can do one last time with a nice clean brush, uh, but the important thing is to make sure that your units have the ample opportunity to dry before you place them into the light cure unit. While you're waiting for your units to either sit in the alcohol bath or when they're in the light cure, um, you want to make sure that you take the time to clean your accessories as well as your print platforms. It's important to make sure that you clean your print platforms thoroughly to make sure that there's not any leftover material in the preparations, as well as to ensure that your print platform is smooth to the touch so that it doesn't puncture your resin tray. So once your parts have been dry, what we're going to do is place our units inside our light here. I'll just place it one at a time, nice and flat onto the platform. Make sure to double check the material label on the bottles 
so that you're curing at an appropriate amount of time. And go ahead and press the start button. So once our models are done in the light cure box, we can actually take them and just double check them and they're ready for quality control. We can actually take our analog at this point and set it into our model to make sure everything is fitting properly. The last part of this model was actually the gingiva. And for this one, we actually left the connectors on our model here just because some parts of the gingiva were thin. You can at this point just remove them by hand. So once your models are completely finished, the implant analog has been set, the gingiva has been placed on your model. The last thing we're gonna have to do is glue in our articulator, but after that, you're all set.